tent on Corinthian Island about half past seven. I've been awake since about six o'clock. This one's still asleep. I'm just gonna pack everything up. We are leaving today. We're getting the 12 o'clock boat over to the mainland to Kuala Besut. It absolutely poured down last night, like crazy, crazy rain. Although I did fall asleep for about 10. I kept waking up in the night with them. Um, with the rain and stuff and also I'm sure I think it's Jorian although I can't see any Jorian when I go out they don't look like Jorian trees I'm pretty sure the Jorian are falling off the trees and like landing right near our tent so I was like a bit worried that one would like land on us and kill us or something <laughs> probably completely stupid but you know you just have stupid ideas so that was kind of worrying me so I couldn't go back to sleep because of that and like the thunder and the lightning it was crazy. But anyway, I need to pack up. We're kind of not really unpacked because obviously there's not that much space in the tent. But uh, I just need to kind of shove everything in the bags. And I think we'll probably head down to the beach for a little bit. No, we'll go, maybe go down to the beach like 10 ish, and then we're going to have a couple of hours on the beach before the boat comes. Okay, we're more or less all packed up. We're going to make the horrific journey down to the beach now with our bags. These are the things that are falling, by the way. They look like jewelry to me. Look, it's right near our tent, and there's one over there as well. A few of them fell. I think one did actually fall on the tent. A lot easier. Yeah. yeah. We're down on the beach. We're going to go and have one last little dunk in the sea before we go. I've been out of the sea, Stephen is still in there. He's missing having his uh, mask and snorkel. I think I'll definitely have to sort him one out. I need to give the boat people another call. They suggested up at the top, um, Fred and like our camping people suggested that I phone them. I phoned them this morning to organize it, but they suggested that I phone them half an hour before. It's half 11 now, uh, just in case, because they probably will forget about us. So <laughs> just to make sure that they are actually coming. Slight problem, I don't think you can see that, but I have no service. Oh. Hang on, yeah, just got a bit of service then. Let's try and phone them now. Cell service worked out in the end. It kept going and it kept calling and it just kept call failing, but finally got through. So we're just going to sit here and dry off. I didn't see in the sun, but it's not actually that sunny today, is it? It's warm, but it's just not that sunny. It's quite nice, to be honest. I wouldn't have liked it in blazing heat. I'm going to dry off here before the boat comes. It's about like quarter two now. We think our boat might be here, hopefully. Oh, it's, yeah, it's full. You can't fit us on and them. There's another family over there. There's like four or five people. I'm sure they can fit on. I'm sure we could fit on. No? Maybe it's just ours. I don't know, but I hope it's ours. There's another one coming in, so one of them must be ours. I think that one's. Well, that was our boat, but for some reason, it just pulled up and then like we turned, like we were getting our luggage and it just went away. No clue. With my awful signal, some kind of phone then. Just finally got through. It's now like 20 to 1. And I think he's sending someone for us. <laughs> He was like, you, you, my bloke, my, um, I think that boat might be it. He was saying, oh, someone came, but there was no one there. But like, yeah, we've been on the beach since like 10 o'clock. We've been here. God knows. As long as we get back, I don't care. Stephen's had to take shelter on the rocks. The sun has started to come out now, so it's boiling. Yeah. Hopefully that boat in the distance is coming for us. I don't know. We're on. I don't think this is supposed to be our boat, but... We're on it anyway. <laughs> We're leaving back to the mainland. Just checked in, 
same place we were before we left to do our beds. I'm gonna, I think we are gonna shower and I'm gonna take everything, all our clothes. There's a laundrette opposite, I just saw as we were checking in. I'm gonna take everything over there. Cause we absolutely stink, it's gross. I feel a million times better now. I went across the road, put all the clothes on for a wash. I've had a shower, washed my hair, clean clothes, and I'm just clean from sea and salt and sand and smelliness from the tent and everything. It's much as had a wonderful time. I'm kind of, I was done with it. Like three nights, I think, is enough for me camping. I'm done after camping. Not the island. I mean, the island, I think I've got to stay there forever. But uh, the camping aspect of it, yeah, three nights is my maximum. Stephen's just found a little black cat, his little mate that he found. Oh, Claire, so cute. We're gonna go and uh, try and find something to eat. Oh. Don't know whether we're just going to a shop, like when we just go to the supermarket and grab something, or whether we're gonna get something. I don't know, I kind of fancy something warm, like hot to be honest, rather than just like snappy things from the shop. So we ended up just going to the supermarket in the end. My finger, ow, so um, yeah, we're just gonna eat in our hotel room. We've got so much work to catch up on, so we're just gonna, yeah, sit and work and eat. After a couple of hours of work, the Wi Fi in this place is awful. My upload, this is like from about a week ago now, I'm about a week behind with uploading vlogs. Um, it's, I put it onto uh, upload. What time did we get here? Like half past one, so it'll be like two o'clock. It's now nine o'clock. Nine o'clock and it's 56%, something like that. Hopefully, I was hoping that one would be uploaded tonight and then I could do another one throughout the night. But it looks like it's just gonna take like the whole like 24 hours more or less to upload the vlog, but never mind. Can't wait, well, fingers crossed when we get to KL. We're going to KL tomorrow, getting the bus from here to Kuala Lumpur for a few days and then we're flying up to Bangkok for a few days, so Hopefully in those two, I mean the big cities, hopefully we should have good Wi-Fi in those places and I can get all caught up with the vlogs. But I'm going to end it here for tonight. So thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Good night.